Hello there, my name is Ismas and welcome to another quick Blender tip and uh, today we're going to be looking at precision modeling in Blender. Uh, just a way to get uh, your dimensions right and everything like that. So uh, mostly, this is impo important mostly in uh, ArchViz uh, visualization. So uh, if we wanted to, if we added uh, a plane like this and we wanted to know uh, its dimensions, uh, you can go to edit mode and uh, under the overlays, uh, switch on uh, the length of uh, that object. So edge length and you can see each edge when you select each edge any edge it will show you the length of that edge and uh, when you move it uh, the length of the the attached edges uh, will update as well as you can see so this can help you to know what to how you're modeling so and uh, you can also use uh, the the measure tool to measure distances uh, but uh, what i found that uh, if you say you're, tr you're trying to create a room and you don't know how tall you want to make it uh what i usually do is uh there is an add-on called i think it's called archvis so add-ons fine architecture i think it's called archmesh and uh i've already activated it and uh, what i use it for is usually to get a measure of uh, the height of uh, the doors that I want to make. So if you add a door, it can give you a baseline to start from and uh, the door, and these models are measured to, uh, are using world scales, real scales. So uh, this is uh, about uh, two meters, uh, which is roughly uh, the average height of a door. So you can use that as a base measuring a point uh, to measure the door, uh, but uh, you need to make sure that you have uh, the arc Arch mesh uh, add-on enabled uh, to use uh, these models, and they have a few good models that you can use. Uh, say you want to have uh, stairs, uh, you can add those stairs, and uh, these are also uh, to the to the real world uh, scales. And uh, there are few settings you have there uh, if you want to use. Yeah, you can play around with that and uh, see. But uh, this is what I usually use as a baseline too, because if you have the height of the door, you can easily measure. Uh, how you want, how wide you want the rooms to be, and how tall you want the rooms to be. So, yeah. And uh, say you wanted to use angles, uh, you can also do the same. So let's say you want you you were making a roof, but I uh, don't know how. You you are not sure what angle it should be. I uh, in edit mode again, you can go under overlays, and uh, this setting these settings won't be available if you're not in edit mode. They're only available when you're in edit mode. So make sure you're edit mode and then under overlays uh, you will find where you found uh, the length uh, you should find the angle uh, face angle uh, face area things like that and uh, they should show you uh, the different angles so now you can see uh, the angle of this of this slope here zero 90 once so you can be you can use that as your measure and usually if you're using this you want to also turn on uh, the snap tool uh, so that your values snap easily so that you can get more precise uh, movements and uh, you can also change uh, the diff the increments you want and uh, yes yeah, so yeah that's what I want to show you thank you for watching